And a report out there that nearly 75,000 computers in the U.S. and around the world were hacked by cyber bandits in Europe and China. That is according to a report that is out today in the Wall Street Journal. It says that hackers gained access to a host of sensitive personal and corporate information at more than 20 500 companies, including credit card transactions and company secrets. Analysts are still trying to get their arms around the damage of what could be uh, a growing new threat. David Lee Miller is live on this in New York City. David Lee. You know, Martha, one of the things that's difficult to do here is to put a dollar figure on the cost of this attack. According to the Internet security firm NetWitness, which discovered this particular spyware, the hackers have what they describe as a really a deep understanding of the nature of the web. And while the company will not reveal the names of the companies that have come under attack, the Wall Street Journal, which, as you mentioned, first broke the story, says the victims include names such as Merck, Cardinal Health, Juniper Networks, and Paramount, as well as 10 uh, U.S. government agencies. Now, social networking sites such as Facebook, they have also been attacked, according to NetWitness, uh, by compromising uh, sites such as uh, Gmail and Facebook. The hackers are get able to get their hands on what they term really the keys to the castle. In other words, they get personal information that can be used for purposes such as espionage as well as ID theft. That data can be mined, it can be sold on the Internet around the world. But as of now, Martha, it does not appear that there is any really clear, focused criminal objective other than the fact that these hackers are uh, continuing their uh, illicit operation. Martha? Well, for those of us who uh, can't really understand how you do this, I mean, it seems like most computers are relatively safe. How does this kind of attack work? What they're using here is a sophisticated program that's called Zeus, and according to uh, NetWitness, uh, the security firm, most of the antivirus programs that are now out there cannot detect this particular malicious spyware. In most instances, what happens is the victims either unknowingly download the program when they visit what they believe is a legitimate website, or they open an email attachment that is infected. And once this program is on a computer, it can really wreak havoc. Unlike some of the malicious software that is already out there that essentially steals information by recording specific keystrokes, the Zeus program can specifically go after and target uh, specific information. It can steal data even before it's encrypted. It can uh, get into your computer to go after the cookies. That's where credentials and other sensitive information is stored. And the Zeus program, interestingly, it is, remo it is remotely controlled from a command center believed to be in Eastern U uh, Europe. And from there, Martha, the hackers essentially have full remote control of your PC. Wow. Martha? Creepy, scary story. Uh, David Lee, thank you very much. David Lee Miller reporting from New York. Oh.